Good afternoon, boys and girls, and welcome back to our virtual classroom. It is time for math. And like I said earlier today, we are going to be learning all about measurement and how to measure things. So let's start our presentation. You can see into my screen. Time for math. Welcome back, friends. We're going to stand up and dance to help our bodies get ready. A, B, C, D. Four, A, three, B, C, D. two, morning, brush. one. And I have to do one more thing here. Before we get started. There we go. Uh oh. There we go. With your bodies. Of measurement, if there's a distance, we find the length of it. We know we can always split 12 inches inside a foot, and one yard just won't be complete if it does not contain three feet. One inch is what you got if you're looking at the top of a bottle of pop. On your thumb is about one inch right from here. your knuckle to your fingertip. We are the women and men of measurements. If there's a distance, we find the length of it. The length of the folder where your work is put measures out to just one foot. You'll find a foot. If you look at the height of the parent on my hook, huh? yar. A football field has 100 marks. Each one is a yard apart. At the plate with a softball bat, a yard is about what you're looking at. And a bat is about a yard. Open your fingers a pinch and make an inch. An inch. Then make your hands look. Just like a foot, like a foot, put them three times as far and make a yard. Now we know how long they are. We are the women and men of measurements. If there's a distance, we find the length of Good job, friends. So measurement is about finding the distance or the length. And we learned that a football field has 100 yards on it. And so each, each 10 yard mark is 10 yards and one yard is three feet. So we can do some math there. All right, let's go back to our presentation. And we also learned about an inch. An inch is about a pinch or the length of your um, thumb. So today's book is Too Tall Tina. So when you're going, getting taller, your bodies are growing, and you go to the doctor, the doctor can measure you to see how tall you are. Let's see why Tina thought she was too tall. So Too Tall Tina was... Uh, written by Donna Marie Merritt, and it was illustrated by Lisa Woodruff. And we know that the author writes the words, and the illustrator draws the pictures. And we have a publisher here, Kane Press, and the publisher makes it into a book. And here is a... Um, a letter from the publisher about how each book in Math Matters explores a single concept and features a likable character with a predicament that needs to be solved. So these are good math books. Something happened to me this summer. 
I grew, I grew taller and taller and taller. I went to see Dr. Tasso for my checkup. Well, Tina, she said, that's some growth spurt you've had. I felt proud. But on the first day of school, I stopped feeling so great. I used to be as tall as my two best friends. Now I'm taller than Nancy. I'm taller than Luke. I'm the tallest kid in third grade. I say hi to Mike. Hi, Tina, he says. And he looks up at me. Whoa, I mean, too tall, Tina. How's the weather up there? Anna asks. Mike and Anna laugh, but I don't think it's very funny. That's not very nice. That's actually kind of bullying, isn't it? At recess, I find my favorite jump rope from last year. It's purple with sparkly handles, and I take a big jump, jump and crash. My favorite jump rope is too short for me. Maybe Mike is right. Maybe I'm too tall, Tina. So we have short, shorter, and shortest. Nancy and Luke help me up. That's thanks, I mumble. Um, don't worry, Luke says. You just need a longer rope. I try to smile. It's almost time to go home. Don't forget, Friday is class picture day, Mr. Lee reminds us. Let's make grade three look sharp. All the kids are excited, except for me. The lady who takes our picture always lines us up by how tall we are. Nancy and Luke and I are next to each other every year, but not this year. I don't want to be in the back row away from you guys, I moan. Maybe you'll, look, you'll like the back row, says Nancy. Yeah, when you're in the back, no one can tell if your socks are dirty, Luke adds. But we're always together like the three musketeers, I reply. Nancy and Luke shrug sadly. That night I get to thinking, aha, I know what to do. I go to my closet and yes, these are perfect. Nancy and Luke will be as tall as I am on picture day. Before school starts, I tell Luke and Nancy my idea. Girl shoes, Luke gasps, no way. Ooh, high heels, said Nancy. She puts them on and starts to walk. Wobble, wobble, plop. She falls and lands with a thud. So much for plan A. It's time for plan B. I tuck my head in, I bend my knees, and I squish myself down and waddle over, Luke, over to Luke. Now I'm as short as you are. Yeah, Luke says, but you look like a duck. That's not good. I stand back up. Hey, guys, calls Felix. Want to play limbo? All right, Nancy and Luke yell. They rush over, and I follow slowly. Last year, I was super at limbo. I'd scoot right under the stick, even when it was really, really low. Now I'm too tall, Tina. When my turn comes, I take a deep breath, and I bend my knees lower and lower, and I lean back farther and farther. I'm halfway under the stick, and I lean back just a little more splat. I feel like crying. I get up and walk away. Then we have low, lower, and lowest. Nancy and Luke follow me. There's nothing good about being tall, I complain. That's not true, Luke says. You can see over everybody's head at the parade. You can reach for the cookies on the top shelf, adds Nancy. I guess so, I say, but I still feel bad. I know what will cheer you up, Luke says. Tomorrow is sports day, and you love sports. I do love sports. Well, I used to love it, just like I used to love jumping rope and playing limbo, but now I'm too tall, Tina. Sports day starts first thing in the morning. Our gym teacher, Mr. Como, puts, up, puts me on the orange team with Nancy and Luke. Hmm, maybe this won't be so bad after all. Well, Mr. Trisha has to sneeze. The pole climb is first. Mr. Como says, whoever climbs the highest point gets a point for their team. Uh-oh, I'm not so great at pole climbing. It's my turn, and I gulp hard. I grab the pole, and I pull myself up. I pull and pull. Time's up, Mr. Como calls out. I look down. I didn't get very far. Oh, well, at least I didn't fall off the pole. That's one point for the green team, says Mr. Como. High, higher, and highest. The next game is giant steps. It's me against Anna and Mike. We warm up. Whoever reaches the red line in the fewest number of steps wins a point, Mr. Como explains. Ready, set, go. 
I stretch my legs as far as I can and take a long step. Then I take another and another all the way to the finish line. Anna took 10 steps, Mike took nine, and Tina took eight. Mr. Como, that means I hold my breath. The orange team gets a point. My whole team starts to cheer. Nancy and Luke cheer the loudest. Our last game is the long jump. The score is tied. The team with the makes the longest long jump wins, said Mr. Como. Luke goes first, he jumps far. Then it's Mike's turn, he jumps farther. The green team is in the lead and I'm the last one to go. I take a deep breath, I start to run, I close my eyes, I jump. My feet hit the ground. Where did I land? I'm too nervous to look. Way to go, Tina, my team shouts. I peek out one eye. I did it. I jumped the farthest of anyone. So there's far, farther, and farthest. The orange team wins, Mr. Como announces. I'm so surprised. I just keep standing in a sandpit with a smile on my face. Mr. Como, oh, Miss Como gives me a big blue ribbon. More good things happen on Thursday. I find a long jump rope with a red sparkly handles. It's perfect. Then Mike's soccer ball gets stuck in a tree and lots of kids try to reach it, but only my arms are long enough. Thanks to tall Tina, er, I mean, terrifically tall Tina, Mike says. Tina, I'm going to make you our official class reacher, Mr. Lee says. Nancy and Luke give me a thumbs up. Finally, it's picture day. And guess what? I don't mind being in the back row. After all, I'm terrifically tall, Tina. And it says, good things about being tall. You can take giant steps. Your long jumps are very long. You can see over everybody's head. You can reach stuff that nobody else can. You get to sit in the back of the class and you stand out in your class picture. And here are some comparing measurement charts. You can use your words to compare the three things in each row. So you have long, longer, longest, short, shorter, shortest, high, higher, highest, and wide, wider, widest. And then activities that matter. You can do these activities with your child to support and extend reading and math skills. So it says, look at page five of the story. Who is the tallest and who is the shortest? Help your child find the page that shows Nancy trying to be as tall as Tina. Find the page that shows Tina trying to be as short as Lloyd. The limbo stick on page 16 goes lower, lower, lowest. Invite your child to demonstrate this as you both play limbo. That sounds like it might be fun. And it says, read the story together, then look, look, let the child look back through the book to find all the people and things that were shorter than Tina. Uh, and then it says, keep a growth chart. Make your child's height and note his or her age. Next to each mark, write down the child's favorite game or activity. Do these, do these things change as the child grows taller? Gather some friends and or family members and have the child line up from, uh, line up, line them up from according to their height or line them up different objects according to length. So today you're actually going to sort your teddy bears by size. So you can do the biggest or the tallest to the shortest teddy bears. Go back to our math presentation and see what I'm talking about. So here's our Google assignment. It says sort your child's stuffed animals into groups of big and little and talk about animals, which animals are big and which animals are small. Elephants and mice, whales and small fish, dinosaurs and spiders. And then you can also uh, line them up from tallest to shortest. And then you can also continue practicing measurement at starfall.com. Here's a link here, slash h, slash geometry, slash measure. And you can measure tools, trains, mice, and shoes. And if you click on one, like let's click on shoes. Uh, you're going to pick which crayon you're going to use. And you're going to measure how many crayons one crayon it takes to measure the shoe the half and half 
and a half. So that's one and a half. And this one is one, two. So there's some practice for you. Don't forget to take a picture of your work and send it to your teacher either on Class Dojo or submit to Google Classroom. Thank you very much. Great job, everybody, today. I'm so proud of all the work that we've been able to get accomplished during this distant learning. We've learned so much and we've come so far. We uh, only have a little bit more to go, so stay tuned tomorrow for more Real Loud and Math Time. See you later.